come back to Italy and uh, this research began as a cooperation with the uh, Academia del Barolo is uh, an association of producer and uh, the University of Torino and Timesis uh, this is uh, a private company that uh, provide a soil survey and I am from Timesis uh, I'm going to present you this preliminary result because the, this research is um, started in 2015 so uh, we we hope to to, um, to go ahead with the, with this search and um, roughly in um, I, I note some keywords about our research air your uh, your speech uh, this research is oriented to management is focused on biodiversity and our is um, focused on measures and not only the description like uh, soil description and on business of methods because we are looking at a farmer scale the area is located around Barolo Barolo in Piemonte is uh, northwest of Italy you see uh, is a typical little town uh, and uh, it gives the name to uh, famous and a huge uh, high-level wine globally known from Nebbiolo um, 100% and uh, zooming in the, into the area you can see we are close to the Alps very relatively close to the Alps is 45 kilometers and uh, at the border of the hilly area uh, named Lange is a wide wine zone. On the right map, you see the study area and the hills of Barolo wine production. I start with these official maps. These are the official maps of Barolo um, Vineyard crew map. And uh, you see Barolo village in uh, left uh, bottom and with colors the different crew. And the different crews, the different color, are from enological potential. These differences are mainly from historical point of view and traditional aspects. But the question is, and this is our work, could we ascribe this typical, uh, these official maps, also at differences uh, characteristic in soil or in environmental uh, looking at terroir definition? As a note, uh, the, the area started to um, become uh, a cultural and natural UNESCO uh, heritage in 2014. Of course, over the map you can see the position of our vineyards. We choose these vineyards in the pants of, of course, of different characteristics of, of the crews. They aim the work, observe, highlight differences, identify indicators for rapid assessment, and define environmental issues concerning terroir. Because, you know, uh, in the concept of terroir, uh, from the geographical characteristic of the site, the vineyards, um, and as this aspect and elevation, Two aspects are dominance, the southwest in La Mora Hill and southwest Salunga and Castiglione Falletto. Only one site, Lazzarito, is located at the top of the of a hill, so it has is a, in the in the top uh, area of the hill. The elevation range from 258 and uh, 360, 378, and the variability of this uh, elevation is independent from the aspect of the slope. So the geomorphology of this area is uh, quite irregular and complex. You can see the hill system and uh, with a, a lot of hills and you can see also see in the hill system this is an area with really intensive cultivation so in the whole area. At the early stage of our work 
we made standard soil con um, observation, description and sampling of soil profile or for each vineyard, of course, and chemical and physical standard analysis for each soil horizon. From this early stage, we observe a, a, a very good variability um, in the morphology of soil. And I can show in example, this is what the most standard soil profile in the world area. It becomes from marl deposits and it's a typical aplus tapped soil in the soil taxonomy with a classification. In the other one, uh, you can see the most stable soil of the area is as close relationships with the all soil formation processes like alluvial, alluvial deposits and we found that pebbles at one, half, one meter and a half and at the um, depth. So it becomes from, probably from silt and clay deposit from the river in, on the top of the hill. And this classification, this soil is a typical aplu stalf. This is a typical coarse soil of the area, not so common in the area, but it becomes from sandstone and marl deposits. Uh, the classification is a typical Ustor tent. And the last one, the Lazzarito one in the top of the hill, this is a, a typical top hilly sandy soil. It becomes from sandstone and uh, is a, a typical Ustip cement soil. You can see the, the compact sandy layer on the right bottom. So, huge differences in soil morphology, as you can see, but, and taxonomy, but the standard parameters, usually describing soil in terroir analysis, are very homogeneous. For example, texture, for example, silt and clay, um, pH reaction, and limestone uh, uh, percentage, very little variability. Only the sand has a little variability because stay between 20 and 25%. How do different vineyards differ by so? How could we see in data what, could, what, what we are able to see in, uh, in the country? So in the second stage, we choose uh, another way. Biodiversity assessment of binary soil and physical and hydrological soil parameters. Given, of course, of the importance of biodiversity in soil, we try to quantify by it by the, an index. Proposed by the literature is a QBS R index. R is used as an abbreviation of arthropods. The index is calculated on the number of taxa and individuals of micro arthropods found in the soil samples. Some taxa are more related uh, with soil functionality, of course, and so they take a more relevant score into the index. We identify taxa and the count, uh, count the, 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 the microarthropods in the soil sample. They are focused on their expression of the functioning of the soil, and their presence is used as a bioindicator able to identify the environmental stress and changing. Is it simple to monitor, of course, and effective for describing the soil bi biological quality? Microarthropods are particularly involved in the degradation of um, the organic matter, so they have huge importance for soil fertility and conservation. On this slide, you can see the position of microarthropods on the food, soil food chain. They have a great influence on soil biodiversity that play a, a, a big role in supporting the environmental sustainability also in vineyard. Uh, soil biodiversity represents a quarter of the total biodiversity on the planet. And this method assigns a different index at every taxa, depending from its ecological relevance. The most relevant have a, a an index higher than the other not so relevant. The final QBSIR index is the sum of every single index from every taxa found in the soil sample. 
Here you can see some pictures about the monitoring phase and analysis phase of this index. And these are some first, of course, results. The average index is quite high in this area for all this vineyard um, related to other vineyards in Italy. I work a lot with this index in Italy. And mark a general good conservative soil management. And in the last 10 or 15 years, related to Tomasi uh, yesterday, we observed the less compaction due to the avoid big soil work uh, at the vineyard beginning, at the vineyard starting phase, the planting phase. The most relevant taxa, in fact, are present in less disturbed soil. You can see on the bottom examples of microarthropods. The abundance of individuals and the QBSR index show a wide diversity among the our vineyards. But they were not affected with chemical soil properties um, or weather stability, but the soil physical properties seemed more related of course, <laughs> but <laughs> we have to, to demonstrate with numbers. Uh, it measures possible impacts in, of vineyard management, of course, on this parameter. Then, of course, we co focus our attention in some physical parameters of soil, starting at first with soil porosity, of course, places where microarthropods live, and air capacity, the volume of soil of the biggest soil pores. These are phases of sampling for this kind of observation. Quite simple. Uh, these are sand beds and riches analyzer and uh, are lab instruments, quite simple, where we have tension potential too at lower deep pressure and richer analyzer when we have tension potential at higher depression. pressure. Here are some results. Despite the pedological homogeneity, we saw variability in air capacity and in total soil porosity. Not more variability in bulk density, of course, and nor in available water capacity. So putting in relationship the soil biological parameters and the soil physical parameters, these two measurements, we was able to find a first correlation, first correlation that we have to better analyze in further project approach. Only two words about the correlation matrix. Uh, we uh, saw a positive correlation from number of individuals and bulk density, QBS max, the index, total uh, index, and porosity, and negative correlation, number of individuals and porosity. Of course, for any specified focus about the correlation, please talk to my favorite professor, Silvia Guidoni, sit over there. <laughs> With the QBSR method fathers, that is, uh, they, they sit in uh, Parma University, we try to realize a first classification of dimension of soil pores and microarthropodes environmental adaptivity. This is really a first conclusion. Wanyas showed similarities for soil parameters usually considered in terroir studies. Name, pH, texture, so, uh, clay, <laughs> so we are in a very small area, of course. Major difference emerging in aspects so far little considered in this kind of studies, as for example, soil porosity, air capacity, biodiversity indexes. QBSR index show relationship with the human impact and might be useful to study the, artrop the, the, the artropic aspect for the terroir definitions and variability. It reveals a good potential for rapid assessment of environmental quality. Of course, I have to give many thanks to all people that work at this uh, project. Uh, we are now trying to 
uh, find a standard characterization, so a certifi a, a, uh, working for a certification using that kind of indicators in Italy. And of course, many thanks to you. We are interested, of course, in uh, share our experience. And I leave over there our emails for contacts and uh, fundraising, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.